Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Football and welcome to another Champions League Fantasy Update. Now, in this video, we're going to be discussing the best budget options for both match day three and match day four. So these options apply to both match day three and match day four. Obviously, the games that are being played in match day three, as you can see on screen, and also you'll see at the bottom very soon, scrolling down the bottom very soon, very similar fixtures to the ones in match day four. The only difference is that if you're home in match day three, you'll be away to the same team in match day four. So basically can definitely apply to both of them. And I don't expect their prices to rise rapidly in the next couple of weeks. Not possible. So best budget options for match day three and match day four. Don't you hate it when you get all the big boys, Haaland, Benzema, Hakimi, you get Donnarumma, you get, you know, Salah, Mane, and then you only have eight million to spend in two positions. You absolutely hate that, don't you? That's why I'm here. I'm here to save you guys. Which, differ, which budget options can actually help your team or help your budget and fit players who can actually deliver for you the points, even though they're cheap. So cheap, good options. Good, cheap options. I think that's how you're supposed to say it. Good, cheap options for you. So as always, if you haven't joined my league yet, that's 83UVQC0A09 is the link or the direct link will be in the description. As promised, scrolling down right now are the fixtures for match day three. So that's Club Bruges versus Manchester City, Besiktas versus Sporting, PSG against RB Leipzig, FC Porto hosting AC Milan, Atletico Madrid hosting Liverpool, Shakhtar Donetsk, winless Shakhtar Donetsk hosting Real Madrid, who surprisingly lost to Sheriff. Ajax playing Dortmund, very, very huge game there for both teams. Inter Milan against Sheriff. Sheriff, the surprise package so far. Barcelona against Dynamo Kiev. Salzburg against Wolfsburg. That's the bug. Um, derby, if you want to call it that. Manchester United against Atalanta. Villarreal of the same group traveling to Young Boys, who won their first fixture at home to United. Zenit versus Juventus, Chelsea against Malmo, Benfica against Machines, Bayern Munich, Lille against Spanish La Liga club Sevilla. So those are the um, fixtures for match day three. For match day four, it's basically the opposite in case you're playing um, the fantasy of the Champions League fantasy for the first time. In match day four, it's basically the same but um, switched. So it's going to be Manchester City against Club Bruges. Instead of Besiktas against Sporting, it's going to be Sporting against Besiktas. So if you're home in this game, the next match day, you're going to be away from home. So those are the fixtures that are going to be played in match day three and match day four. So who are the best budget options for our teams? Which, which players can we use to actually fit the big boys? So the first one is Steven Baghouse. Yeah, that's how you say that name. Steven Baghouse, Ajax squad. He will cost you eight million, but I think he's a very, very good option. He's currently owned by 0%. Now, I've already done a video talking about the best differentials. I did not even include him in that video. In case you want to check it out after this, I'll link it up in the YouTube card right now at the far corner over there. You can watch it right now as well or after this video. Baghouse has been fantastic so far this season. He was bought from, um, he's a new player for Ajax, bought from Feyenoord. His next picture is at home to Dortmund and then away to Dortmund. I expect both games to be very high scoring. Um, obviously, six points in match day one and 10 points in match day two. Two goals and an assist already. He played 77 minutes in match day one and 71 minutes in match day two. And already so far this season for club and country, he has played 12 games. He has scored four goals and assisted eight times in the 12 fixtures. Very, very good option. We know we all go for the 12 million forwards, you know, the 11.5s in Lewandowski, Ronaldo, 11 million, Lukaku, 10.5. Haaland also very expensive, around 11 million. But you cannot just fit all the big boys and, unless you're playing a limitless chip. So in case you need a cheaper striker to allow you to have a, a good midfielders as well, you can go for Steven Baghouse. He will only cost you 8 million. And that is a very good budget option in terms of forwards because all the forwards are like 11 million 12 million so that's the first option the next option we'll talk about is his teammate this time a defender that's mazroi i'm not sure to say that name i think it's mazroi or mazraoui i'm not sure but hey 
you will not fail to spot him because he's a very unbelievable player. Ajax defender, right back, 4.5 million pounds. So he actually does play as a right back for them. 5% ownership also could also be included as a differential as well. His next fixture, just like Baghouse, is at home to Dortmund. Again, a very, very good option in terms of bombing forward, getting you attacking points and defensive points. Very, very good. 4.5 million is what is going to cost you. Six points in match day one and already eight points in match day two. So 14 points in total. One assist already this season. He's already picked up three points for balls recovered. So he's a ball recovery machine, which we absolutely like. Clean sheet versus Besiktas as well. Last game week, last match week, very, very good option. Mazrui right back for Ajax. So I've gone about. I've, I've gone a lot of Ajax there. I've, I've um, really, really tipped Ajax there, but they've been fantastic so far in the Champions League this season. And that takes me to the third option, the team that they actually played in the last um, game, same group, Besiktas player, Souza. Now, for Souza, Besiktas midfielder, we all love a cheap midfielder around 4.55 million. This guy will only cost you 5 million. He's also another differential. 0% ownership, next fixture, sporting at home. Both teams are not being great so far this season. But yet again, this guy is another ball recovery machine. He's already recovered 15 balls this season, four points from ball recoveries already this season. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. If any, even if he doesn't score or assist or picks up a yellow card, he can still get you four or five points from ball recoveries and could easily see him getting play of the match somewhere if he gets a goal easily. And he has spotting in the next two fixtures. Both teams kind of fighting for Europa League spot. That place, both teams will be going for it. So Suza will probably get you a yellow card somewhere, but you can still get you the points even from the bench. You can just have him as a bench option. Very, very good option. So those are my three budget options I've picked for you. Um, one forward, one midfielder, and one defender. Baghouse as a striker, Mazrui as the, the defender, and Souza as the midfielder. All three players coming from the same group. Two from Ajax, one from Besiktas. Very, very good options. Again, if you haven't checked out uh, my other video talking about the must-own players for match day three, I'll link it up in the YouTube card as well right now. Very, very many more videos coming up uh, in terms of building up to match day three. Wildcard videos, limitless videos. Make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any of them. Make sure to smash the like button to support the channel if the video is helpful. And yeah, if you haven't joined the league yet, that's the league code 83UVQC0A09. Make sure to join. And um, the fixtures are on screen. We can move with it a bit um, to Wednesday, how the fixtures will be looking on that Wednesday. Uh, very, very good uh, fixtures for Chelsea, the likes of Juventus. And yeah, we'll be coming to that, obviously, in the Fantasy Tip Show. But as of now, thank you for watching yet again. I really appreciate it. Keep staying safe, and I'll catch up with you guys on the next one.